Welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. You guys already know I'm back with another video, and that is on period. You feel me? Let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's get it started out here. Let's do it. Today, we're going to be doing a beginner-friendly install, you know what I'm saying? Because out here, we gotta, we've got we been looking rough. We just be having a cap on, shower cap on. Our hair's not done. We got to get it together. Come on, ladies. We got to get it together. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. As you guys already know, I do not like to be sitting here telling you, oh, I do this, oh, I do that, you know, step by step. If you guys want to see a video like that, then let me know down in the comments down below. I will definitely put that up for you but for the most part there's a lot of other youtube videos on you know how to apply your lace frontal so if you're interested in stuff like that i'm sure you can check out somebody else's video or if you want me to do that just let me know and let me know down in the comments and i got you but for the most part i just would like to make sure i address for this video um, i just want to check in on everyone's mental health um i feel like mental health is important i always discuss this on my channel i'm always trying to make sure you guys are the best version of yourself i want to make sure that you guys are feeling good looking good you know what i'm saying that's the point of all of my videos to motivate you to get up and do something so um today i just want to take time to check in on your mental health make sure that you guys are you know doing the dang thing i just wanted to discuss um uh, the reason why i'm bringing this up is because I've actually seeing a friend's post um say that she feels like no matter how good things get it's like depression never leaves her and um that's the type of mental health i want to discuss today is about depression and how it can really mess with you and what i mainly want to say to it making the short story long i'm sorry but um i really just want to make sure that you guys understand that depression should not defeat you i will say we all go through a funk we all go through things we all have things going on we all get sad at times we all have a lot of pressure on us but i will say whatever you're going through you need to get out of it whether it's making a change in your life whether it's taking time to yourself to um you know do something different or anything you need to be able to understand whenever you're going through depression that this is what you're going through and then you need to look at what you need to do to get out of it because depression can take time away from your life on things that you could have been doing um being happy so i just want to make sure i address that real quick Again, the reason why I want to talk about this is because I feel like that's just something that's kind of trending nowadays. Um, a lot of people going through depression because of multiple reasons or certain reasons that, you know, I may not know anything about. But I do want to say that I definitely went through a slight bit of depression. The reason why I say slight is because I don't want it to seem so much compared to what other people are going through. I don't know what other people are going through, but I will say from the slight bit of depression that I was going through, I found myself staying in bed. I found myself, you know, have, not having motivation to do the things that I love, not taking care of myself the way I'm used to taking care of myself. And I want to let you know that depression can sneak up on you in multiple ways. And it's up to you to realize that it's depression that you're facing. Something I did want to talk about, at least for me, is something I noticed that was a huge red flag is that um, I definitely love cleaning. I love making sure everything's clean and everything. Um, and for the most part, I noticed that I was overly cleaning every day. And don't get me wrong, you know, I feel like a lot of people overly clean and stuff like that. But I was over cleaning to the point where I felt like I couldn't do other things that I'm supposed to do during my day before cleaning. Like I had to make sure everything was cleaned up tidy. But my thing is I had to realize that was another form of depression and I was basically stress cleaning. I'm stressed out, so I would clean to distract myself from issues that is going on clear as day in front of me or maybe internally or anything like that. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want you guys to start taking time to realize the situations that you're probably getting yourself into or not just the situations, but basically what you're doing on a daily and noticing how it's changing and is it changing for the better or is it changing for the worse? Are you doing the things you're supposed to be doing? Are you taking time out of your day to do extra things that don't really matter and then the things you're supposed to be doing you're not working on? Um, you know what I mean? I just want you guys to start paying attention to that. And once you notice that, definitely getting on it and fixing the issue right away. Just to sum up everything, because, um, you know, I don't really want this video to be too much about depression and sadness and all that stuff. Um, but I want you guys to be aware that if you are aware that you are going through depression, because depression can come in many forms. I am going to make a video about that soon. Um, but depression can come in many forms. Being stressed out can come in many forms. Um, if you are aware that you're going through something, it should be easier to get out of it because you at least know you're going through a funk. Meaning, if you can't get out the bed, if you don't have the motivation to brush your teeth, there's something going on. And I believe that you need to take a minute, look at what's going on, 
and realize what your issue is and fix it immediately because until that core of the situation is fixed, then you're just going to keep going in the same circle in the loop and just being in bed, not getting up, not wanting to do stuff, not being able to be motivated. Like, you know what I mean? I just want to make sure that if you know that if you are continuously doing these things, take a minute, realize it. And once you realize it, it should be easier to get back on track and fix the main issue and, you know, go about your day. Again, just want to make sure that you guys are good and your mental health is good. Want to make sure if you're going through depression, um, you know what I mean? It's going to be okay. Um, you might need to take extra sex steps to get out of it, but it's going to be good. Don't worry about it. Um, whatever you're going through, just know it's going to be okay. And again, take time, recognize the situation and take action. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to talk too much in this because, you know, some people get annoyed and I, I respect it and I got you. So again, if you guys have any questions or any concerns, let me know down in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video.